Hello, I'm Tammy Parrish from The Clothing Compass, and today I have some tips about how to care for your sweaters and other knitwear. I have three tips for you, and it's possible that you're not caring for your own clothing. Someone is doing that for you, or someone's managing your household, and they'll, they're taking care of things and making sure you can do your work. So please share this video with them so that they can make your clothing last even longer and keep it in even better condition, which of course is sustainable. I also wanted to let you know there are subtitles on the film, so you don't need to listen to it with sound, you can just read the subtitles. Thanks for watching. Good news. You can start ignoring those instructions on the inside of your, for instance, merino wool or cashmere sweaters that say hand wash. Most of the time, unless it's an extremely delicate fabric, I just wash them on the wool setting. So, wool 30 degrees, so that's Celsius, of course, and that is cold water. I used to do it on fine wash or even on 30-40 on this side, but the wool is very important because the cylinder turns at a slower speed and that's going to prevent your sweaters from shrinking so this is really important wool 30 uh, slower centrifuge which means your sweaters will come out fine along with that 30 degrees so cold wool setting you might also use I would suggest that you use a special liquid cleanser for wool. This is from one of my favorite sweater labels, Vanity, a Dutch brand, that's vanity.nl. Two capfuls into the soap container of your washing machine and set the washing machine on cold wool setting. Okay, so first of all, we have a sweater with pilling. That's what these little, yeah, in Dutch, plouches, the little fibers that you don't want. So this does not look nice, it looks very worn. And the solution to that is to buy a de-piller, anti-pill machine. So it works on two batteries and you just take this cap off and basically you give your sweater a shave. So, just like this. And you'll hear it pulling off those bits of fibers. Oh, and don't do that. So in the end, what you see is the difference between the part that's not been um, worked on and the part that has. So this I've already done. This is nice and smooth. And this is still in need of a touch-up. Okay, here we have a sweater with a pulled yarn. So if you wear jewelry like me, you do this often. It's easy enough to fix. Just take a crochet needle in Hagenald in Dutch and take that, so put your hand inside the area with the pulled thread, stick this inside and bring it out where that pulled thread is and just pull it through. Hook it over, pull it through. Just like that. And you no longer see where it's at. So I hope you enjoyed those tips and I hope you'll like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is what you're watching the film on now. So please take two seconds to like the YouTube channel. You'll get a reminder when the new film comes out. You can also find me on Instagram. The address is Clothing Compass. Facebook is also Clothing Compass. And my website clothingcompass.com and there 
in under blogs you'll also see links to all of these films and also more tips so thanks for joining